What's up YouTube fans? Today I'm going to be reviewing the Fans Toys Quietus, their version of Cyclonus. Um, I wish I had gotten this a little bit earlier. My, my online guy on, on eBay, he, he just took too long uh, shipping this out. So obviously not one of the first reviewers to have this out. My damn rival Bobby Skullface keeps beating me to the punch. So, um, But here it is. I'm excited to review this guy. Um, I do have X-Transbots version. They're Elagos. So I'm going to be doing comparison. Um, but let's take a quick look at the box. So um, very similar to all the other boxes. A uh, really cool uh, animation here. Uh, it kind of has the figure, but it also is like this cool... I like. I really like the artwork here. Um, and it says Fan Toys 2018. Here you have FT29 Quietus. And on the back you have some product shots. You've got him with his gun, sword. You've got a target master in here. And then you've got kind of the alternate look with his alternate um, horns and the... Um, side skirts where he can holster his uh, swords. I forget the name for that. It's a sheath, whatever it is. Anyway, comes with some good stuff. There's a bio if you want to read it. I'm not going to read that. Um, that's basically it for the box. So the packaging is pretty much the same as, as usual, so I'm not going to go over it. So let's just get the figure out here. And here we have Pan's Toys Quietus and all of his accessories. It comes with a lot of stuff. Um, First impression, this thing is just painted so beautifully. It's got so much paint on it. I didn't even really pose it. I just kind of put it out here. Um, but there's so much stuff with it. So it's got his uh, blaster here, which is painted as well. Uh, he's got this bigger purple one, which it's also painted. It's just one color. Uh, you've got his side skirts here, which allow you to... Uh, you know, basically put the sh swords in, you know, it's got a sheath for the sword. Here you've got all the alternate faces and also the alternate head sculpt and the alternate horns. You know, here he's got the broken horn. Really cool. Uh, you've got the swords here. Really nicely painted. And you got a sort shorter one here. And finally you've got the Target Master, which pretty cool. So we'll go over all of those accessories um, and show them with the robot. Um, but let's just move that to the side just for a second. Oh, and we also have uh, his collector's card here. Again, I've never really been a fan of Fan's Toys uh, collector's card. They just put an image of the toy on here and it's it's not the greatest. I don't know. Their, their cards aren't great. They're okay. Better than X-Transbots, but um, still. All right. And then you've got the booklet. And the booklet's pretty nice and detailed. It's got color images of everything. So that's a that's a nice touch. And you know, pretty good images. We'll see how good this is in, in transformation. I don't do transformations on video, so if you're looking for that, you'll you'll go to another um, you'll have to go to another video. I like to give you my first impressions, so you're seeing this for the first time as I'm seeing it. Uh, and therefore, I don't transform it on camera. I usually do it off camera just so I can get used to the transformation. But because of that, I don't film it. So um, that's really it. But here you've got the completed transformation. And also you've got the Target Master and all of the extra features and how to use them. And so pretty nice booklet. They, they've always been pretty good with their booklets. I haven't really had an issue with them before. But finally, let's get to this guy. Man, this thing looks really, really good. Um, just because it, we're already looking at the detail, I'm going to bring in Elagos here. And let's just uh, take out his weapons just for a second so we can look at him side by side next to him. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is Elagos is a lot more bulky. He just is a, a bigger character. This is one of the things I hate is the knees. The knees aren't great. I am going to be selling this guy. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. We'll see at the end of this review. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be selling uh, Extransbus Elagos at the end of this. Um, but let's take a look. So some of the differences are you've got these actual jewels here. So you've got translucent plastic and then you've got a red inside that which looks really cool. Just a very nice effect. 
Um, here it was just paint, orange and uh, red paint. Um, you had some pink paint here and here it's silver. Um, let's just take a quick image of uh, Cyclonus up in the corner here. I feel that this is probably a little bit more cartoon accurate, especially the face sculpt. You've got a really defined face sculpt there. Um, just all around, I think. Hmm, that's a little loose. Oh, I guess you gotta push it all the way in. Um, but all around, just pretty good looking figure. The thighs are a little weird. I don't know. On here, on the Elegos figure, it's a little bit beefier. But he's got gigantic calves, like absolutely gigantic. Oh, sorry, I have the Target Master plugged in the back. We'll compare the Target Masters too when we're done. Um, but he just has bigger feet, bigger thighs. Just he's just bulkier and beefier, and it's it's a different way to go with the figure. But I feel that this is probably closer to the cartoon, and we will put an image so you can see that. But. Um, very different take on, on Cyclonus. Now, I do kind of want to bring in my Galvatron figure, and I, I don't have the Fans Toys one. I, I didn't like that one. I, like, I preferred the DX9. So let's bring in the DX9 Galvatron. I think they called him Tyrant. Here is DX9's Tyrant. And if you just kind of put them side by side, all three of these figures, and I, I think this is true even for the Fans Toys version. This guy seems a little out of place, right? If you look at this, the definition on his face and kind of the way he looks and his size, you know, Cyclonus is huge next to him. He's actually taller. Um, whereas this uh, Fans Toys version of Cyclonus is about the same size, maybe you know, a little bit shorter to the shoulder or about the same. Um, let's take a quick height. Um, but I definitely feel like the Fans Toys version fits in better. Whether you have the DX9 Cyclone, uh, DX9's version of Galvatron or Fans Toys, I think that Fans Toys just their their scale a little bit better. So to the top of his head, he's 10 inches. To the top of his ears, it's 10 and three quarters. And then if you look at the Transbot version, it's 10 and a half the top of the head and 11 inches at the top of the ear so he's way bigger um, and then Galvatron is about 10 inches to the top of his head so definitely a better scale uh, in terms of uh, these two fitting together and let's take a quick weight so here's our scale here so the x transbots comes in at a pound and a quarter ounce or sorry one pound four ounces and the fans toys comes in one pound almost three ounces so he's a little bit lighter than this guy and that's probably because he's smaller he's just thinner in terms of his uh, his bulk this guy did have a lot of die cast down here but it also made the, the legs very heavy this guy is solid. He's just a solid chunk. So, um, very similar in weight, but a little bit lighter than the X-Trans Butts version. Um, but I do think these two go together, the color-wise. Color-wise and looks-wise. Now, let's take a look at uh, all the accessories here. So, we've just got a ton of them. There he is with his blaster. Let's get the other gun in here. And there he is with his rifle. So no problem holding that. Looks pretty good. Um, so there you go. There's the. Now let's let's actually get him completely into his other mode here. So you got a chance to look at uh, these weapons. Let's take a look. So we're gonna have to open this up. Let's take a quick look. So you can take off this face. There it is. Uh, he does have this alternate face right here. The screaming face without the goatee. There's that one. Um, all of these face sculpts are really good. They're very nice face sculpts. So there you have that one. Here's this one. Yelling face with the goatee. Which I think is pretty cool. They're all really good. Well painted. The eyes look really nice. They just did a great job on these. There's that one. 
a little hard to get these off. I think because of the paint, the paint in the way. Uh, and then finally I have the, another face, a straight face. Wow, there's a lot of faces. There are four faces all together just for this helmet, which is crazy. Um, and that one's pretty good too. I think I like the goatee straight faced and the goatee yelling face. These two are my favorite. All right guys, so you do need to take all these screws off. Uh, one, two, and then underneath the face there's a third screw right there. So all of those have to come off and then you're gonna put, and then we'll take this one apart. This is a really cool face. Um, these are really sharp by the way. Um, does this come off? Looks like this one doesn't come off. It's really tight. All right, it does come off. Yeah, you have to, to be able to take it off because there's you got to put the screw on. So there he is with the his broken horn. We'll put on the face sculpt. I don't really understand this. Like it's fine. Oops, sorry. I, I haven't put the screws in. I'm not going to put them in because I just want to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to just put it on here loosely. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't really understand this. Like what's what is this trying to show? <laughs> like why did he and maybe there's a story behind it where he got into some kind of battle and I, I don't know any of that. So all I know is it looks really cool. It's a very it's a very nice head sculpt. Um it's neat that they even included something like this. They didn't they didn't need to include um you know, an IDW head sculpt, but there it is, and it looks pretty cool. So let's let's try the other uh, horns, and and that looks good too. You know, these seem a little fragile. I don't know. I'd be careful. It's very tight on the edges, um, but just to give you the full effect, I wanted to get everything on here. Now these swords came with um, a sheath kind of already on it. You had to kind of break them loose. Um, but you don't need this. I don't. I don't know why they gave you that because it comes with this, those little pieces right here. They're right. They're right in his uh, hip skirt. So I, I don't really understand what the, what was the purpose of providing that. You know, it's it's not really useful. You have that piece right here, and these come off by the way. Uh, so those just fit in right there like that. And same for the other. Sword, you can take off this sheath and you can slide it in right there. And now he's got both of his swords, and you can even put his hand on it, like he's getting ready to take it out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend too much time posing it, but you can, you can make it look like he's removing it. All right, so let's take a look at articulation with this guy. Let's just get Elegus out of the way here. Um, so head is on a rotating swivel, so not a ball of joint. You get plenty of down. He looks all the way down, which is important for a tall guy. Plenty of up and rotates all the way around. No, no hindrances, so that's good. And it's nice and tight. Um, the ears do fold all the way up, but nobody's going to want it like that. Um, a very nice head sculpt. Uh, the shoulders go all the way up like that and they do rotate all the way around on a softer ratchet, although it's a pretty good ratchet. I do find this is a little bit loose. It doesn't really like lock into place. Um, just kind of a little bit loose back there, but it's okay. Uh, you do have a rotation at the bicep. A double jointed double, yes. Yep, so double jointed elbow that gets you well past 90 degrees. Um, I love these hands. This is kind of like the uh, Fans Toys uh, Phoenix hands. You know, it bends like this. So you can get a lot of movement out of this. And it's nice and solid. The fingers are slightly different lengths. The middle finger is a little bit longer, but for the most part they're very close. Um, but I like, I prefer fingers like this. This looks reminds me of the Springer. Springer hands were very similar to this. Um, and they're good. They're, they're easy to manipulate. They don't flop around and get in the way. They just sort of, they do what they're supposed to do. Um, this does peg in back here. I think I just 
made it come off the peg. So once you pe peg that in, it's pretty solid. Uh, and then yeah, the hand rotates and it bends. Uh, there is waist articulation. You do have to kind of pull this hip skirt out a little bit, and then you can get this rotated around. Um, you also need to release this here. So you got to take this off the back. So try not to rotate it before you take that off, and then uh, loosen this up, and then you can get rotation. And it's on a ratchet, um, which is nice. But I do find it a little annoying that you have to remove that to, to do it. Um, this hip skirt, by the way, is a little bit, I don't know, it doesn't feel strong. So this does bend upwards, but it feels like you're going to break it as you're moving it. It just, it just does not feel good. I don't know. I would just rather not mess with that and leave it in there. And, and the good thing is you don't really need to move it. You can get a lot of motion without it. Um, once you get up to there, that's probably where you're going to have to manipulate it. But again, you've got plenty of articulation without it. Uh, you've got a nice ratcheted hip skirt. goes all the way up to there and then it's hindered by that. It goes all the way back to there, but you can also take that off. I'd rather have it in. So plenty of articulation there, nice ratcheted hip joint. Um, all the way out to there, full articulation that way. Uh, double jointed knee, so you got one joint here, one joint here, and you get it all the way up to there. So everything you would want for articulation. Um, which is more than I can say for this guy. I just didn't like the way his knees worked. Um, it's got a weird ratchet in there. It's got one, it's it's inside here, so you got to sort of bend it, and it's sort of counterintuitive. I, I didn't really like that. Um, but hey, that's what we had. And this already looks good. <laughs> uh, so continuing on, uh, you do a rotation at the hip right there, and nice sculpt work inside there. So they didn't skimp; they painted that in there, which is pretty cool. They didn't need to do that. Uh, you got nice metal pieces right here for the knee joints and, and they look good and they feel good. Um, and then you've got great ankle pivot and ankle tilt up and down. So back here and you've got a toe tilt which is very tight. Everything's tight. So plenty, plenty, plenty of articulation. Um, at first I thought this guy wasn't standing straight but it's because I didn't have the uh, ankle pivots set up correctly um, and he does have a lot so you kind of have to just mess with him until you get him how you want him but he's got everything you want there's just nothing missing and it's tight it's not really going anywhere the only thing that really moves are these two things which that's it super tight this one I guess he was okay too it's just those knees are kind of weak they just feel solid um, so that's really it for articulation on this guy. Um, I definitely think it's a great robot mode. I think they did a great job designing and uh, creating the articulation for this. Uh, so before we go to vehicle mode, I forgot about this guy. Um, let's take a quick look at this. Um, this is actually a pretty nice little Target Master. Um, here he is next to X Transbot's version. This one had more of an orange face. This one's that's kind of a gold with red. Um, they're supposed to be the same character, but um, one of the things I didn't like about this guy was these little weird pieces sticking off the feet. And also in gun mode, he didn't look quite right, honestly. He just looked a little weird. Um, this one transforms pretty nicely. Um, he does a, a lot of articulation too. So he's got a ball joint on the shoulder. His shoulder goes all the way through there. It rotates all the way around. He's got a ball jointed elbow. So plenty of movement there. His arm goes in and out. Kind of weirdly, but mostly for transformation. He has a hand that's just really, really tiny. Um, he's got, uh, of all things, he's got an actual waist articulation, and you kind of have to just, just untransform it a little bit to make it work, but he does have waist articulation. Um, when you put this in place, it sort of locks everything in, so you can't do that. Um, he does have this cannon kind of sticking out of his back, so that's a little weird, but whatever. Um, it actually kind of helps him balance. 
Uh, his legs go all the way to there, all the way to there, so it's on a ball joint. Uh, double jointed knee, so it goes all the way to there. You do have a rotation at the knee. And then a ball jointed ankle, so you've got ankle tilt and ankle pivot. So for this little tiny guy, you've got all the articulation in the world. And he doesn't have a gun, but he looks fine. He looks good. It's a good little figure. Um, they did paint this, so instead of being this flat gray, he's got this silver paint and then the gold on the face. Um, that's really it for this guy. So let's just get this guy uh, transformed here. So, And there you have the gun all transformed. And it's a pretty good looking gun, especially compared to the x Transbots one. That one was a little weird looking. This one's a little more consistent uh, in the way it looks. It's a nice target master. And of course that does fit in his hand. He's got a little peg here. Back up here. It does fit into his hand, so just like all the other guns. Let's see how well it fits. And it fits just fine. So there he is with his target master. Um, I wonder if it pegs in somewhere else, maybe in the back. I guess we'll find out. I don't know if it goes in there maybe, let's see. No, not sure what that hole is for. <laughs> there is a hole on the top of the uh, cockpit here, but I'm not sure what goes in there. I don't see any of the guns that fit that hole. Huh. Well, for now, I don't see a spot to put this, to peg this in. But there is something there, so... We'll have to figure out what that's for. Uh, regardless, I do like this uh, Target Master. It's nice and solid. It, it feels good in here. It looks good in in uh, it looks good in his hand. All right. So now we will get this guy transformed into vehicle mode, and we will. I'll try to notate any uh, special issues with transformation, but uh, I'm not going to show the transformation on camera. So we'll get this transformed and we'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back from transforming. Uh, there are some problems transforming this guy, um, but my god, is this thing beautiful. Even my wife saw this. Um, you know, I kind of said, hey, what do you think of this? And she said, wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> and then she said, is that a girl transformer? Um, and I think she said that because, you know, this is the colors and it, it's so pastel-y a little bit. Um, but it really is. It really is a beautiful transformer. You know, it's it's so sleek and thin. Um, you know, it's just amazing that the robot transforms down to this. Uh, I have the landing gear out, but this is kind of the end, end product. Um, by the way, um, I did fix this so this has been a problem pretty much for every reviewer out there and um, I did have to shave it down so if you're not comfortable doing that then I don't do it but um, basically um, all around here so this this peg right here has to push up through this panel and you have to shave around the inside of this panel and basically you just got to shave off the paint. So there's paint on the inside of this and you don't see anything in either mode. You, you won't see. And then on top of that, the, the cockpit closes above it, you know, over it. So even if you screw up and you scratch something, you're not going to see it because the cockpit closes inside. But I was still pretty careful and I, and I shaved off the paint on the inside of this panel where this peg comes through. And that's all the problem. It fits nice and flat. There's no gap at all there. Um, everything everything fits tight and it just looks um, amazing. It's just such a such a beautiful paint job on this. You know it was it was good in robot mode too but um, you kind of see how all the colors come together in this vehicle mode and it, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put a uh, an image of this guy up in the corner from the G1 cartoon. I think they really nailed it here. And you know this is 
At first, I wasn't so sure if this was better than the X-Transbots. Actually, you know what? Let's bring in the X-Transbots version. By the way, this thing is a nightmare uh, to transform. Um, it, it's definitely broken. <laughs> and you can see this is a much darker purple. It doesn't come across quite right on camera, but it's a pretty dark purple. Um, I have broke both of these tabs right here. So there's basically two tabs that are supposed to fit in. Very bad design. Um, you basically have to push those tabs into this harder plastic piece and they, and they snap off. So, um, some people like the look of this, uh, especially in the robot mode, better than this. I, I definitely prefer the Fans Toys version. I think it's uh, a little bit sleeker, a little bit better colors. So, I don't know. There are some people that, that really like this version. To me, it's a little bulky. Uh, it does have the nice boosters in the back. You know, it's got this orange paint here, orange on here. Um, and that looks pretty cool. Here's the back of the Fans Toys version. It's just uh, the silver here. And then these boosters aren't even painted. They're just solid purple. So, I don't know. Some people might prefer this vehicle mode, but I really love this. It does have the nice chromed out... Uh, metal piece here, uh, this, and, and that's very similar to this one here, the the, fan, the X Transbots version. It's got the chromed out piece, but there's something. <laughs> it just feels like this is like it's old generation. You know, it's it just doesn't it can't compete. Um, it is really heavy. Um, I and mean, this one is too. It's a lot of die cast. Um, actually, one thing I didn't recognize or, or tell you that was die cast is this piece right here. And I actually caused a little bit of damage um, transforming it. And I want to show it to you so that you can avoid doing this to your figure. But uh, basically right here, if you can see that, there's some scratch. And that's because this thing kind of bumps up against it. And... That's kind of unfortunate that, you know, it's that tight of tolerances. The tolerances are very tight on this. Um, this whole chest piece that just kind of proves, or not the chest piece, the cockpit piece, kind of proves that, you know, the tolerances are a little bit too tight. Um, but man, when it comes together, it is absolutely stunning as a figure. The paint, the, the detail, the uh, even these, uh, let's put these away for a second. We'll just fold these landing gear up. And they, they kind of, they go in nicely and very, very flat and smooth. You know, and it just kind of, it, it, it just looks so sleek. And then you look at this guy and, I don't know, it just feels, just feels old. I mean, they both look like a robot folded up on the bottom. I mean, that's the nature of uh, this character. He kind of looks like that. Sorry, my table's not even here. Um, but I definitely like the look of the Fans Toys version all the way around from every angle better than x Transbots version. This guy, I don't see any way to attach really anything. Um, the only thing I see is this. That's got a little peg right there, which I can't see any reason to have that peg other than to peg it on the top right there like that. Yeah, that's kind of weird and dumb. It's not, I don't know. It's all right. It's, I'm glad that they include stuff like that, but it just looks a little weird. You're, you're, you're sort of covering up the beauty of this thing. Uh, and none of the other guns peg in here, I, or at least I couldn't find a spot to put them in. Um, this Target Master, I didn't, I didn't really see a spot for this either, on the top or the bottom. Uh, this is a very uh, delicate figure. You know, you don't want to be dropping this. You know, I I was I sat on the floor and <laughs> was transforming it because it's it's kind of heavy and it's very easy to lose your grip on it. So you do want to transform this very carefully. Um, there are some delicate pieces and parts, but I didn't break anything. Um, I didn't really have any issues other than that one scrape that was caused right there. Everything else is um, in tip top shape. So, definitely love vehicle mode. Definitely recommend it. I'm a big fan of, of this figure. The colors, the quality, the transformation. Transformation's a little tough. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. You know, it's... it's um, especially when you get to uh, some of the wing stuff here. Uh, once we got past this, it was a little bit easier. But um, some of the stuff in here 
you know, getting it all together. It was a little bit complicated, but nowhere, nothing any more complex than this guy. This guy has a really annoying and complicated transformation. Getting the hands back into here, there was always a problem. I was trying to put the hands into the boosters. You do the same thing here. You know, you put the hands into the boosters, but this one is just a lot harder to do, you know, get it done. So, I, I guess I would say it's no worse than the X Transbots transformation. Now you did you did get the Abaddon figure, you know, the little mini version of Galvatron that fit in here. He was a solid uh, purple uh, figure, and it actually fat it sit in it could sit inside of it. But I don't really need that. I don't, I don't think it's necessary to make this figure. It's got plenty of accessories and over here. Is the collection of accessories that it came with. So I think it's fine without that. Um, but if you like this version, if you're interested in the X-Transbots version, um, I'm sure there'll be people selling it. I'm selling this one um, as soon as this review is done. Um, I just, uh, I prefer the fan space version. So let's just get this out of here. So that that's really it for uh, this figure. I highly recommend it. I think uh, anyone that's looking for a G1 Cyclonus, this is it. This is the figure to have uh, for, for your Cyclonus. Alright, so uh, next time we're going to be reviewing uh, X-Transbot's uh, Flip Out. That's on its way. Again, my, my retailer was slow in shipping, so I'm late on that one too. And I already see some reviews out there for that, so whatever. You guys can watch that when it comes out. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions on this, guys, uh, post in the comments uh, in the uh, comments below, and we'll see you next time.